Hello comrades, Commissar Pro here today with Hegemony, Wars of Ancient Greece, Gold Edition. That's right. If you remember last time in our little escapades, we were defeated decisively by the Mycenaean forces at Leprion. They caught us in the passes and basically made us break morale. We lost. However, Look on the bright side of life, my friends. For now, we are turning our attention to Triphilia of the Arcadians. Now, the Arcadians are relatively weak as far as things go. At least in my opinion, I think they are. So it should be a pretty easy fight, right? Right? Well, we're about to find out. I've steadily been building up an army uh, with, you know, what I can. I have essentially depleted my cities in this attempt, um, and we are pretty low on forces as far as things go. However, we are ready for combat, and as such, the Alien League will push forth and conquer more land. And look at that, I've been spelling it wrong. Jesus, man, I'm just not on the game. It's E-L-I-A-N League. Elian. Elian. Or whatever. Whatever. What's important is the Commissar is ready for battle. Mobilize our armies. That's right. Send them out. One by inevitable one. That's right. We're going to have a massive force. And I don't even think... I don't think the Arcadians are going to be able to handle how much we're sending at them. It's a lot. This is a lot of stuff. We use up all the food. <laughs> we used up all the food. Jesus. We're having we're trying to get food supplies from the rest of the Empire, which you know, is very much possible. What are the Mycenaeans doing? They're trying to come up behind us, are they? Well it will not work, you cowards! My army is too great for this nonsense. Send out those other peltists. We'll take care of them. Oh, and actually, let's, uh, everybody kind of forage for now. You know, get your, get your forage on. And we're just going to kill off this army of Mycenaeans as they try to run. Cowards. Yes. Take my, take my javelins. My spears, my throwing spears. Yeah, that'll send you back a little bit, won't it? <laughs> Alright, so we are decisively defeating the Hoplites brigades of Lep Lepreon here that continually attempt to run away from us. I don't know why my guys can't throw their spears there. There we go. There they go. Yeah. Give it to them, boys. Give it to them. Show them the wrath of the Elian League. No? No? Okay. Alright. Well, we've, we've done a little bit of damage. We've killed two guys out of that squad. And I don't know why we can't kill one more. Come on, let's get one more. One more. One more. That's all we need. Oh, we got one more. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring our dudes, bring our boys home. We did a little bit of damage. No need to get too close, right? Right? Right. So, let's see... We're regenerating our army. We have no food. It's all getting sent straight to the troops. Let's get these catapults on over here and prepare for battle. Oh, crap. They they reinforced while I wasn't looking. Damn those Mycenaeans. Again, again, they fooled me. Allowed me to think I was the ruler of, of this land just to be denied. Hmm. Not good. I might need more men. Hmm. Which isn't good, because I really don't have anything to spare. Uh, I could take that Hoplite Brigade from Fea and this one from Kylene. What are these guys doing? The Mycenaeans. I don't know what they're doing. Like, what they're trying to prove here. Again, I think they're just terrified of my massive army. And they keep trying to, like, flank my catapults or something. My ballistae. Much back and forth. I think they're just trying to distract me. 
while the Arcadians get more reinforcements. So let's kind of tally up how much they've got. They've got 257 soldiers to my not 257 soldiers. Okay, they just got more. They're building another uh, hoplite brigade. Oh, crap. They're building two more hoplite brigades. I don't think they have enough men for all that, so they're going to be very tiny hoplite brigades. But still, we are clearly outnumbered here, and I don't really have anything to spare. I barely have enough food to sustain this massive field army. Mm, 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 mm. All right, well, I guess I could bring more Peltas in. Possibly. I think I need more hoplites, honestly. I just don't think I have enough. I could bring those from Dime. Just recruit another grade. Yeah, we'll go ahead and bring those from Dime A as well. Let's move them south. They can meet up with the brothers. Alright. So that's two more hoplite brigades that we've managed to uh, mobilize for this engagement. And these dudes are retarded. Because I'm just going to outrange them. Yep. And do I have any other pelts? Yes, I do. I'll bring over three. I'll get a third to get involved. And we'll move that hoplite brigade to make sure the ballots stay uh, protected. Look at this. We're just mowing them down. Before they can even get close. Again, we're going to move our hoplites in front of that. And look at that. We are just demolishing the Mycenaeans. They are not prepared for this. Oh! Oh, yeah, you like that? And we, we're going to get them from the back because we've got more troops. And I guess they're going to try to disrupt my supply lines is what they're going for here. Well, it's not going to work. You're all going to die. Yes! Yes! See, Skirmishing in this game is actually incredibly effective, unlike most games where it doesn't seem to do too much. In this game, if you skirmish effectively, you can bring down whole armies, um, which we're doing right now. Even though this wasn't a, like a massive filled up army, this is just three groups of uh, spear throwers, and they're they're they stopped two brigades of hoplites from uh, ravaging my lands, taking my catapults, so on. So as you can see, they're really effective, and that was a superb job. Uh, and really, I should attack the. Uh, the other guys but oh look 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 with the arcadians because we've intimidated them with our show of force we can actually offer them an alliance now so now we are in an alliance with the arcadians and we have taken over all of their land and uh, we can control their armies now which is awesome so let's go ahead and just put our army back <laughs> look at that look at that perfect no blood had to be shed that is beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. So let's take a look around and see what we've gained from Arcadia. Well, I've noticed, mainly, that that giant army that they had no longer exists. Yes, yes, interesting. They must have disbanded it when they, when they saw that we were allying with them. Oh, look. The Mycenaeans are bringing their forces again. What's out of food? Anything? Nope, nothing out of food. They're just, I guess they're, I don't know what they're doing, just being retarded. <laughs> so let's look at the Achean League. They're actually uh, our next, basically, group that I'm considering on annexing, if I can, or allying with in this case. Uh, they're really powerful, they're really big. Not, well, not really big. I mean, they control this particular area up here, which is a pretty decent size, and at the current state of affairs, we own the largest portion of the Peloponnese uh, that currently exists. So we are well on our way, ladies and gentlemen, to, uh, you know, greatness, to awesome things. Finish building those walls, please. Thank you. <laughs> what are they doing? They're just standing there. You're going gonna to build that wall? You're going gonna, you gonna to build it? Get, get it? get it finished? Maybe. Maybe just a little bit? No. Go ahead. Build it. I won't stop you. There you go. There you go. They're building it. Piece by piece. Brick by inevitable brick. It just takes a while, I suppose. Alright, well, we clearly need troops uh, in these areas because we have nothing. And basically, those are just like open season for anybody who wants to just march in and take it. 
So, we're going to recruit groups of Peltasts and uh, Hoplites, or Hoplites, whatever you like to call them. And uh, we're going to prepare for battle. Oh, look at these guys. Look at the, the Echian League is coming at us. I didn't really want to engage in combat with them if I didn't have to, but it looks like I have to. Get within range. Come on, boys. Oh, they're killing our supply lines. Attack! Attack! Bring them down! Yeah, that's right. Run, you cowards! Oh, we are dropping them. <laughs> this is what you get for killing my ox carts. Chase them! Chase them down! Let's get, like, really close. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Or not. Uh-oh. They brought out their hoplites. Trying to draw us in. That's all right. We won that engagement. And, okay. So, yeah. This has been Commissar Bro playing Hegemony, Ancient Wars of Greece. I hope you enjoy this game. This game is actually a lot of fun. Uh, you can still pick it up on the Steam Winter Sale. And you can even get the sequel, Hegemony, Rise of Caesar, I think it's called. Uh, it follows Julius Caesar and the Danube. Or, well, in Gaul, anyway. In his 12-year... You know, conquering decade, however long it took him to conquer Gaul. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's a pretty interesting game, and from my understanding, it's definitely worth the buy. So, you know, yeah, yeah, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, comrades, and I will see you next time.